This is the Farms.com Corn Report, sponsored by Mazex Seeds. Mazex Seeds, technology you want, yield you can count on. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Tim Wellbanks. I'm the agronomy lead with Mazex Seeds. Uh, I'm chatting with you uh, from uh, Tilbury, Ontario. Um, we're on one of our Mazex uh, seed uh, fields and, and we're able to plant today. Um, so uh, in our seed production area, um, we, we are farming on some very uh, nice uh, sandy loam soils in uh, the Jeanette's Creek area. Um, we've been able to prepare the soils uh, by field cultivation and, uh, and now we're uh, planting this year's seed crop. Um, so some of the things uh, with this, uh, we've struggled with planting like everybody else in Ontario. Um, and some of the things that I'd like to remind everybody of is um, we're asking uh, fellows or, or growers to uh, maintain their planting depth. We still think that it's very important uh, to uh, make sure your corn seed is planted an, at least an inch and a half to two inches deep in the soil. Even though it's a little cool and wet and there might be a, a tendency to try and shallow that up, we, we believe uh, you still need to maintain your planting depth. Uh, and here, uh, here I've got a little example right here um, of how, how we're planting. And you can see here the, the seed is right in there at that two inch level. And uh, we believe that's important uh, um, because uh, proper planting depth will make sure that uh, your permanent uh, root system on your, on, your, on your corn crop is positioned properly in the soil. If you, if you plant too shallow, uh, your permanent roots may, may uh, end up a little shallow in the soil and if it turns hot and dry, that could uh, lead to issues later. Um, some of the other questions we're getting now is, um, well, it's getting a little bit uh, late in the planting season, should I start cutting back on my inputs? And actually that, um, that may be not the best strategy. Uh, you've got to remember that the yield potential of your of the seed that you've purchased is still, you know, still at 100% uh, of its ability to yield uh, sitting in the seed bag or, or, or before planting. So, uh, so we're encouraging uh, growers to stay with their cropping program, uh, plan for plan for high yields, and uh, and. Uh, you know, manage your operation accordingly. We incorporate all our phosphorus and potash uh, pre-plant, before we plant, um, but we also recognize that uh, this spring has been cooler and wetter, so we've ac actually added a starter fertilizer to our planting operation. We're, we're using a, a low amount of starter, uh, roughly 100 pounds per acre of mez, which is, uh, which is uh, 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 analysis of about 1240 O and uh, 10 uh, sulfur and uh, a pound and a half of zinc. So just to, just to encourage uh, that early season growth of the corn seedling when, when the ground is cooler and wetter. So, so we're trying to stay with our program and trying to uh, manage our, our crop for maximum yields. Some of the uh, planter tips I'd just like to mention, uh, uh, you'll notice that uh, our planter is set up uh, so that it's, it's uh, level. So that's an important uh, thing to level your planter. Um, um, we've also included a deflector to, def to deflect the uh, vacuum down towards the ground so that there's uh, no uh, no uh, uh, seed treatment or dust off from the planter blowing up into the air. Um, you also notice that we're driving a moderate speed, um, four to five miles an hour. We're trying to keep our, our planter speed at, at, uh, at a moderate speed so all the, the mechanisms, the mechanical mechanisms in the planter are working properly. Even though we're under the gun like everybody else to get our crop planted, we're, we're going to to keep our machinery running at a moderate speed so that we do an excellent job for uh, seed spacing and depth. We're in our uh, next uh, production field that we're going to plant shortly and we're doing our last tillage pass. Um, and what we're, what we're trying to accomplish here on this sandy loam soil, we're, we try and work the soil as shallow as possible. And that way 
uh, when we plant we have a nice firm um, a seed bed for, for to really anchor the corn seed in the ground. If we work it too deep then, then basically uh, on this sandy loam soil that seed w almost floats in the soil and it doesn't it's not anchored firm and the, actually the depth of the seed placement can vary and then we would get on a uneven emergence. So, so we're, we're doing our last tillage pass as shallow as possible to make a good seed bed and try and maintain a, a, a firm footing where we place that seed. This has been the Farms.com Corn Report, sponsored by Mazex Seeds. Mazex Seeds, great seed, great people. Harvest the difference with Mazex.